Hey, what's up guys? It's Motivation by Moses. Today I'm going to put you through my warm-up series to help what? Prevent injuries. As we know on calisthenics, the biggest injuries are to our joints, shoulders, elbows, and the wrists, all right? So I'm going to put you guys through my warm-up series that I do all the time to prevent injuries. So the first thing we want to do first is we want to raise our body temperature. How do you do that? You can do a, a, a number of different ways. You could do short jogs, uh, you could do sprints, or you could do what I normally do. I start out with jumping jacks and high knees. Normally do 10 jumping jacks and 10 high knees. Make sure you keep that core tight. I do it three times. Last 10. All right, great. Move around with it. All right, great. So now, we just raised our body temperature. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go into activation and mobilization. So what do we do? We start out with some dynamic stretches. All right, so first dynamic stretch that I like to do, because normally I do total body, we start with that lower body and hamstrings. Hold nice and tight, just like so. Left and right is one. Don't force it. You try and stay nice and loose. All right, I like doing 15 on both sides, all right? So the next movement I do, I try to open up my hips, core nice and tight, you roll it out. I do about seven of these, seven on both sides. Keep that core tight. Make sure that hips is not turning. You're looking straight forward. All right. Now, next movement, I then try to open up my chest and my back. Keep that core tight. Open up, grab yourself. Alternate, just like so. Just love on yourself. That's it. up the shoulder girdle. Keep that core tight and roll it out. And then we go backwards with it. Next side. Reverse. So we go 10 forward, 10 back, all right? So now the next movement we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our torso, all right? We're gonna go down in a plank position. Core nice and tight. Bring your left leg to the front. Bring your left hand up. Make sure you contract that T-spine. Come back, alternate. great now we go to the next movement all right we're still gonna open up our torso all right so what we're gonna do now keep that core nice and tight we're gonna lunge forward hands out rotate lunge back forward rotate All right, so you wanna do about five on each side, all right? 
So now we're gonna go into activation. We gotta activate all the muscles we're gonna work prior to starting the exercise. So the first activation, your shoulders are the most important muscle group. So I start light with the shoulders. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do bent over front raises, just like so. Thumbs up, all right? And then you're just gonna raise all the way up and squeeze. Remember, your rotator cuff muscles protect your shoulders. It stabilizes your shoulders. So you gotta target and use that, those muscles. You gotta activate that muscle. So just straight up, just like so. I do 10 on this side, 10 on the next side, just like so. So you do 10 on both sides, you gotta do two sets. And now you're gonna go into bent over lateral raises, just like so. You're gonna do 10, nice and relaxed. Control, 10 on this side, 10 on the next side. 10 on the next side. Once you do 10 on the next side, you're gonna do two sets of those, all right? Then we move on to the band work, okay? So first, you get whatever band you're comfortable with, it's an it's a activation and warm up, so don't go too heavy. So what we do first, we do the face pulls. We're still working that rotator cuff muscles. Remember, your shoulders, once your shoulders is gone in calisthenics, you can no longer train, all right? So what we're gonna do, keep that core nice and tight, glue squeeze. We're gonna do face pulls, just like so. So with the face pulls, what we're working is we're working those posterior delts, posterior delts, and also those rotator cuff muscles. Good, so normally do two sets of 15, all right? So now the next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna go down on the floor and we're gonna do scapular retraction. Remember, your shoulders, you have to protect those shoulders. So, we go down, keep that core nice and tight, but squeeze, we're gonna depress the scapula, and then we're gonna retract. Depress, retract. Depress, retract. Depress, retract. So I do two sets of 12. Remember, you wanna depress, and then retract the scapula, all right? So now we protected our shoulders. Now we gotta go to the next muscle group. We have tendonitis. You don't wanna have tendonitis, so you gotta protect your elbows. So what do we do? We have to stretch the wrist first. So what we do is we put our hands out, just like so, you make a fist, you go down, and then you bring it all the way up. Go to your range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down, all the way up. We're gonna do 10, 10 on both sides. 10 on the left side also, we're gonna do that for two sets. Once we do that for two sets, now we wanna stretch, all right? We wanna stretch that forearm muscle. So you make that fist and then you push it down and you're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. And then you're gonna do the same also on the other side. You're gonna push it down. 20 seconds. We're gonna do two sets of those. Once we do two sets of those, now we wanna activate your forearm muscle, all right? So what we're gonna do now is gonna have it straight out and we're gonna make that fist. Spread your hands all the way out and make that fist. You're gonna do that for 30. Now you've activated the muscles around what? Your elbows to do what? Help strengthen the elbows doing the exercise. So now we gotta work on our wrist. So what we do on our wrist, we do finger push-ups. You go down on the floor. Spread your fingers, put your weight, all right? Directly on, on your palms, and then you come up, and you go down, slow. Come up, go down. Come up, go down. Come up, go down. Come up, just like so. You're gonna do 15. You're gonna do three sets of 15. That's gonna help you do what? Strengthen your fingers and also the wrist, okay? I normally do total body exercise. So the next movement I do, I go right to my ankles. 
mobilization of the ankles. Point your toes all the way down. Point it all the way up. All the way down. All the way up. You want to increase that range of motion in your ankles. All right? Because you do lower body exercise. Pistol squats, regular squats, jump squats. So you need that range of motion in your ankles. All the way down. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. Just like so. And then now we mobilize the ankle. We just roll it around. Roll it around. Clockwise, 10 times. Counterclockwise, 10 times. You're going to do that on both sides. All right, and then the last movement that we do is we strengthen that knee. So what we do is we get that knee extension. Legs up, you can put your hand on the knee, and then you straighten out your knees, bring it back. You straighten it out, you bring it back. You're gonna do that 12 on both sides, 12 reps. You're gonna do two sets, all right? Now we have activated and mobilized our body, all right? Now we gotta raise up our temperature uh, body temperature again to get us ready for the workout. So what do we do? What I normally like to do is do a, qu a quick feet and a jump. All right, so I do four quick feet and a jump. So it goes like so. One, two, three, four. 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 Do that 10 times. Your heart rate is back up. Your body temperature is back up. Now you're ready for your workout. Remember, protect yourself prior to exercising. Just don't jump into the workout. Protect yourself. Until next time, Motivation by Moses, I'm out.